Good evening. I was just taking a little break. It's been a busy night. Lots of new arrivals. I call them the arriving departed. Well, back to work. Ah, what the hell. One more for the road. Just a dash. Adds a little spine. It isn't what a person looks like. It's what's inside that counts. Mm. Ah. Death by natural causes. Natural causes. Natural causes. More natural causes. I hate natural causes. Give me a big old stab wound to poke around in, then I'm happy. Ah, here we are. Body bags. See if it's murder or suicide or a nasty accident, they put them in these bags. This one was found on a stretch of lonely highway, miles from the nearest town on a pitch black night. Also in the news, another gruesome murder in Haddonfield today. The body of a young woman was discovered buried in the bottom of a trash bin behind a shopping mall. Police Chief Artis Robinson of the Haddonfield PD gave a statement to reporters this afternoon after the discovery of... Police believe the woman to be another victim of a serial killer responsible for a series of ritualized slayings in the Southland. Oof. The body of the woman was found by high... I'd be scared shitless working all alone in a place like this. Eh, I can take care of myself. Besides, you're the one who has to drive back to an empty apartment. Mm. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you don't mind picking me up in the morning? What time? Seven. Oh. This will be the last time I ask you for a ride, I promise. They said my car will be out of the shop by tomorrow. I'll buy breakfast. Deal. See ya. Can I help you? I'm Ann. Okay. The new girl? Oh, yeah, right. Come on in. Hi. Hey. Sorry I'm late. No biggie. Oh, wow. This is almost identical to the gas station I worked last month, except that was a little bit smaller. Well, why don't I give you the, uh, the grand tour? Uh, that's the cash register. You just punch in the pump number and amount, right? Yeah, you got it. That's the credit card machine. No sweat. And listen, when you get their uh, signatures, make sure you get the license plate number, all right? Right. It's important. Um, the TV gets maybe three channels. Actually, I'll probably just do some studying. Um, the cigarette prices are posted outside. Saw it. Okay, good. Is that the bathroom? Well, actually, we uh, prefer to call that the employee's lounge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Let's see. Oh, oh, do I bring out the register when the morning shift comes in? No, I just, you know, uh, he'll take care of that. Why don't you just collect the cash and make change? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? This door locks automatically if you leave the booth, so... Uh... Keys? Right, keys, yeah. Um, God, I don't know where the hell I left them. Uh, yeah, here they are. The round one, um, that's for the booth, and the square one works everything else, okay? Got it. Public restrooms. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. You know, I feel a little bit guilty leaving you out here all by yourself. Yeah, I'll be okay. Did you hear the news tonight? Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Mm. Hey, you know what? If you got a problem, why don't you um, just give me a call, okay? Hey, thank you. Sure, no problem. Would do. Okay. Uh, that's it then. I'm out of here. Have a good night. See you later. You got it.
Pack of Coronados. 275. <laughs> Is there anything else? Uh, what you reading? It's for school. A college girl, huh? Yeah, well, I never got to go to college myself, you know. Yeah, I got some bourbon out in the car. Maybe I can get you to come out of that booth. Maybe I'll see you around. Uh... Hi. I need to fill her up. Super unleaded. Number 12? Uh, yeah. I haven't seen you around here before. It's my first night. Uh, signature and license, please. Are you from Haddonfield? Born and raised. Thanks. What are you studying? Um, psychology. Final exams next week. Got to pull my average up. You go to the university? Uh-huh. Do you ever feel like uh, kicking back, you know, just hanging out someplace after class? Sometimes. Well, you ought to try the Oak Lounge. It's uh, down 7th Street by the freeway. They got a really good band there on weekends. And maybe if I run into you sometime, uh, play a game of pool. Yeah, I'm not good at pool. All the better. <laughs> well, see ya. Bye.
Get the other set. Uh, be right back. John, I'm gonna take care of this. Woohoo, honey! Hiya, sweetheart. Listen, give me uh oh twenty dollars of that super duper irregular on uh pump number nine or there, okay? You're a little glum tonight, huh? What's wrong? You ought to be out partying, pretty little thing like you, huh? <laughs> Say, uh, I need a key to get in that little boy's room there. Uh, you do. Listen, could you do me a favor? Sure, name it. There's a man. He's in the men's restroom. He's a little weird. Weirdo, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I was wondering, could you take a look and see what he's doing? You got that. Yo-ho! There's nothing coming out! What's the problem? Oh, oh, there's nothing coming out. You have to lift the lever. Oh. No, the lever. The lever on the pump. Never mind, I'll do it. So sorry to bother you. I just usually go to the full serve. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Guy's sleeping in there. He's all curled up around the toilet. I had to stand back and aim over his head. <laughs> Shame on you. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, hon. He's fast asleep. Guy's a bum. Let him sleep it off. Did you get the restroom key? Oh, I left it hanging in the door. Come on, baby, let's go. I'm cold. See you around, dollface. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Come to the phone right now. So maybe you could just leave a message. See, I got a sore throat. It'd be better if you could call back. If you want to leave a message, just wait for the beep. Beep.
forgot my credit card. Tell me, how long have you had these feelings of hostility? You can't say? You know, you really shouldn't keep your emotions all bottled up inside. Ah, you're hopeless. You should have had a lobotomy. Let's go see what other fun things we can find to do. Cirrhosis of the liver. Brain tumor. Severe head cold. Let's check the drawers. I call these my necrophile cabinets. Seems to be stuck. Obviously, these drawers were built before breast implants became so popular. These ought to be recycled. That's all right. Marital spat? Kiss and make up. Ah. Believe it or not, this was a human body. Poor guy fell off a high rise onto the top of a car, which swerved in front of a train. And he was dragged 900 yards under the engine. Fascinating what can happen to the human body under the right circumstances. Tonight will be mostly clear, but some low clouds late tonight through mid-morning tomorrow. Light winds, lows in the upper 50s, high tomorrow in the mid-70s. And now this. At the Roswell Hair Growth Laboratories, we have perfected a simple surgical procedure to restore full hair growth virtually overnight. After my Roswell Hair Growth treatment, I bought the company. Hi. What's wrong? Nothing. Come on in. More wine? Are you worried about your hair thinning? No, of course not. I think you look very distinguished. You're very handsome. You don't like it, do you? I like you. Eat. It feels delicious, you know. So, you think I'm going bald? No, I don't. What's a big deal if you are anyway? Oh, so now I am going bald. It really doesn't matter to me. Are you telling me that you don't like hair? Of course I like hair. And how can you stand looking at me? I mean, look at this. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Richard, you're behaving like a, a baby. Well, why not? I got hair like a baby. Why don't you let me make an appointment for you with my hairdresser? Dennis will give your hair a nice shape. I don't need shape. I need quantity. I need volume. I need more hair. Now, what about this? Huh? 
Forget it. Wait, no wait, way. Wait, wait. No way. Hey, hey, come on. Just give it a chance. Take a look at it. I mean... That looks ridiculous. It won't fool anybody. Be careful with that. Oh, for God's sake, Richard. Well, you see, yeah. I don't think he'd ever know his no. hairpiece. You just take so. a little... No. No. Oh. 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 Hey. No. Hey, wait a minute. What do you gotta mean? go. Hey, come on, man. I need that. I need that Richard, bag. you're in denial. What? It makes you look like the world's biggest jerk. It makes me look like Sometimes. I've got more hair. Rich I need that bag. Fine. Let me just tell you how things are, okay, Richard? You're heading for Egg City, located in the Chrome Dome County, in the state of the cue ball. Do you understand what I'm talking about? In a year, your head will look like a Christmas tree lot in January. I understand that. That's why I need your help. Have you got some kind of a thickening agent? Something no, I can nothing. put in there and Not give it a little bit more, you know, volume, huh? But I can help you, Richard. Yeah. If you let me. Of course. Okay, now what I can do, I can cut your hair. I can give it shape. I can give it style, Richard. Come on. Now, I can empower you, Richard. Give you back your man. I can't let you cut it's my hair. It's your birthright. You, okay, what please, are you gonna please, cut? Please, please. Let me just style it a little bit. What I do is, see, I start from, we start from no, here. No, no, no cutting, no cutting. Fine, you yes, style it. Cut my hair Happened just the other day It's getting kind of long I could have said it was in my way Hi. I really like your hair like that. It looks nice. How about a drink? Did Dennis do that? Do what? Paint your head. Who painted your head? It doesn't work. Dennis didn't do that, did he? Tell me he didn't do that. No, I did it. You don't like it, do you? Poor baby. All this is really getting to you, isn't it? Oh, it's driving me crazy, Megan. I can't eat, I can't sleep. Only thing I think about is my hair. I'm losing my hair. Oh, darling. 
It wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've got stuff all over your face. Oh. <laughs> this crap. I disgust you, don't I? What disgusts me, Richard, is your inability to accept yourself as you are. I just don't want to be a bald guy. You're not a bald guy. You, you're, just, you're just a thinning hair guy. It means the same thing. It doesn't mean the same thing, okay? What it... I just can't deal with you when you're like this, okay? Megan. Oh. Megan. Megan, please. I think we need to spend some time away from each other. Oh, sure. Just walk out on the bald guy. Do yourself a favor, Richard. Wash your head. Miracle Shine, the miracle shampoo. Miracle Shine will add new fullness and life to your hair. That youthful luster is what all other shampoo products have claimed to achieve but never really delivered. Miracle Shine, the miracle shampoo, and... With Colossal Grow, your lawn will never be thicker. Professional gardeners are buying Colossal Growth and doubling... The, the Roswell Hair Growth Laboratory's patented technique is guaranteed. No painful and iffy transplants, no silly toupees or weaves, just a full head of beautiful living hair. Call now for an immediate appointment. Operators are standing by 24 hours a day. Remember, after my Roswell hair growth procedure, I bought the company. Yes? Mr. Richard Kobritz is here for his appointment. Show him in, please. Nice to meet you, Richard. Doctor. Mr. Cobert's is before picture. Have a seat, please. I take it my nurse has fully explained our procedure. Uh, yes, I saw your commercial on television. How does it work? We revive dead hair follicles by applying a protein-based solution to the hair roots beneath the scalp. What's in the protein solution? That's bad. I love it when he talks that way. Don't you think he'll look just too sexy with a full head of hair? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Richard might not be right for our treatment. Tell me, why do you want hair? I think I'll feel better about myself. There are certain advantages to being bald, Richard. For instance, Bald men are often considered to be more trustworthy, less threatening. The primal power that a full head of hair bestows on a man brings a certain pressure to perform. Uh, some men realize that they prefer to remain out of the limelight. Well, that may be so, Doctor, but I want hair. I want lots of hair. You don't think I'm up to it, do you? Are you? I think so. I think so, too. It'll change your life, Richard. I want it to change. You sure? I'm positive. I love a positive man. Very well. Nurse, activate the confiscate. Uh, I'll uh, just insert your picture into the graphic scanner. And voila. Now, we uh, have uh, quite a few hair personalities for you to choose from, uh, depending on which trait you wish to emphasize. This is your basic conservative look. We call it traditional Republican. I don't know. Uh, I agree. No? Well, uh, go a little bit more daring. The military style? 
favored by police, soldiers, athletes? I don't know. It's almost too... Uh, it's Drab. Too... Exactly. You see, I want something that is very um, exciting. Yes. Bold. Yes. Sexy. Yes, yes! Let's try this. We call this our stallion look. <gasps> Giddy up. Yes, that's it. That's the one. The stallion look it is. Congratulations, Richard. Uh, no surgery. No, 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 heavens, no, no. We apply the solution here, then uh, when you wake up tomorrow morning in your own bed, you take off the bandage and you're a new man. Please let me have hair. If I have hair, I have everything. I just want to love me again. I don't love me the way I am now. I love me the way I used to be, the way I want to be. Please, God, just let me have hair. You touch it, I'll have to let everybody else touch it. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, yes, it is the source of all my strength. But it's not the only source. <sighs> See that my men are well fed. And bring forth the women. It's incredible. Who is this Dr. Locke? He advertises on TV. Why doesn't everybody go to him? He's new. It's amazing. Can't believe what it's done for you. Oh. You even kiss better. Oh. I know I said it didn't matter, but... With this new hair, you're just so, you're so, you're so animal. <sighs> Tell me you love me, Richard. Just me. Or 
morning lover. <laughs> morning. Oh. Oh. I feel like I'm getting a sore throat. Maybe you overdid it last night, huh? Oh, I got this tickle on my throat. Well, I love to stay and scratch you, but I gotta go. Oh. See you later, sexy. <laughs> Take care of that sore throat, you hear? Mm. You gotta save all your strength for me. And it's not a weave. No, no, it's all mine, baby. Oh, man, it seems so good and healthy, you know? <laughs> oh, man, all right, okay. Who is this Dr. Locke, huh? He's new. You look great. I know. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to <coughs> cut it a little bit, okay? <coughs> Give it a little bit of shape. You all right, buddy? Not too much. Not too oh, no, much. no, 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 no. Yes, style. Mm -hmm. Style. Hello. Lousy. I don't know. I just don't feel too good. Huh? I'm getting a haircut. Yeah, well, after you left this morning, I discovered that my hair has grown nearly six inches. No, I'm not kidding. I know, it's weird. Listen, I'm glad you called. Um, I'm going to have to cancel our date tonight. I really think I'm coming down with something. No, I am not seeing somebody else. Come on, Megan, what's the matter with you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all right. Yeah. Thanks. is here. Why don't you believe me? I told you I'm sick. <laughs> it's not an act. What? Oh, fine. Suit yourself. Don't believe me then.
Happy darlings. Of course. Ah, Richard, how are you? Guess. You look great. Another successful operation. What are you talking about? Look what's happening to me. I know, isn't it wonderful? <gasps> Let me show you something. <gasps> 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 you earthlings and your vanity. You're so predictably easy. You know, at first it was difficult. When we arrived on this planet, we were tiny, starving organisms. And then we discovered that your brains are the only food on which we can thrive. The question was one of access. We seem to have found the answer. In fact, we're particularly enjoying your brain. We like fat. Nurse, transfer Richard into implant containers, then call in the next patient. Maybe I'm going a little thin on top myself. Ooh. I think we have time for one more body. Does anyone have anything to share? No volunteers? What a bunch of stiffs. I want you guys to think about this while I go have a drink. Someone a little past tense. <laughs> Here's looking at you, kid. Vice is hoping Matthews can get something going here. Here's the pitch. Good hit. Get over that fence. Yeah! What's going on, Matthews? All of a sudden, you're knocking the hell out of that ball. Yeah, I don't know. I'm seeing it real good. I don't want to make you nervous, but the Giants got their eye on you. Yeah, I heard that one before. Hey, they could use a good pinch hitter this year. Still going to talk to us peons when you hit the majors? <laughs> yeah, right. I ain't about to start counting my chickens. I've been too close too many times. Something always happens. I got a feeling this is your year. Let's say we knock back a few bros and celebrate. I don't think so, bud. I got someone prettier to celebrate with. Better watch it. It ain't natural to love your wife so much. 
Hey, darling. How'd you do? Three for four and a home run to win it in the ninth. Oh, that's great. I've got some good news, too. What? Surprise. Tell me. Uh-uh. You've got to come home to find out. I'll be there in a flash. Love you. I love you, too. Bye. Bregman is here and he needs to talk to you. Are you feeling up to it? Good morning, Brad. Well, I'm a guest, Doc. <laughs> I got a concussion and you put me on the three day disabled list. Brad, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's much worse than that. I'm afraid you've lost your right eye. Baseball player. See how I used to, to see the goddamn ball. Oh, no! I think maybe I can help you. I've spent the last 10 years of my life developing a method to transplant an entire eye. Now, it's never been done or even tried, but I do think it could work. Unfortunately, I'm pretty much alone in that opinion. Let's say I'm skeptical. I could play again? Uh, yeah, if it works. Well, what if it doesn't? Well, if the eye dies, we'll just have to remove it, and you and I are back to square one. When can we do it? Well, I'd prefer to do it right away. I, I just received a healthy donor eye. Oh, I, I know that sounds a bit gruesome, but uh, 
It's an excellent match for your size. It is a brown eye, but we can use a contact lens to match your color. Talk it over with your wife, and we'll chat tomorrow. The eye from a dead person? Oh, I guess it would have to be. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Dad. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Oh, boy. You think about God's will. Is this God's will? Well, isn't it? I don't know. Well, he gave us the ability to think and make discoveries. You know what I mean. You know, science and everything. If it's for the good. Well, what's not good about me being able to have a career and a family? Darling. What? Nothing. Brent, you're right. Of course we should try it. Sure, and if it doesn't work, baby, just, it doesn't work. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. They brought him into Damascus, where there was a certain disciple named Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias, arise and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul. For I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house. And laying his hands on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you came has sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales and he received his sight at once, and he arose and was baptized. Mrs. Matthews? Mrs. Matthews? The operation went smooth as silk. Brent's in recovery and should awaken at any moment. I'm putting a patch over the left eye. Now, are we ready? Ready. Well, if everything works out all right, your vision should only be blurry for a few days. All right, now, here we go. I like your hair tied back that way. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Strike one, slider down inside. The side They're hoping that he can provide some spark off the bench. Hi, I made them let me off work an hour early. What's wrong? Should be another headache? Yeah. The doctor said the headaches will go away soon. And tomorrow, you get your blue lens and it's home sweet home. You don't have to turn it off. Yeah, I just, I can't watch it. It should be me up there. It will be, baby. It will be. What is it? It's going to be okay. I promise. The headache should diminish little by little. Now, it's important that you do the eye exercises I gave you. Now, let's, uh, let's try this. Let's see how this lens fits. Honey, it looks great. Yeah. 
Brent, I'm going to send you home tomorrow. Now, remember, it's going to take at least six weeks for this surgery to heal completely. Is there anything he shouldn't do? Oh, light exercise, fine, but nothing strenuous. And I want to see you in a few days, okay? Thanks, Doc. such a good mood, I think we should celebrate. Yeah. I'll give you my surprise. Huh? Surprise? What are you up to? Let's see. Ready? I guess. Ta-da! Oh. What's this? It's a present, dummy. For me? Dad for mom. You're gonna have a baby. We're gonna have a baby. Aren't you happy? Oh, yeah. You don't look very happy. I am. I am, darling. I think it's fantastic. Brent? You're worried about the future, aren't you? I don't know. Maybe a little. You know, whatever happens, it'll be okay. Sure. Aren't you going to open it? What am I doing? Okay. Let's see. A crib. <laughs> I thought this was a present for me. It is. You get to put it together. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. Did you put your drops in? Yeah. Is the blur on us gone? No, oh, it's pretty clear. Does your head still hurt? No, just once in a while. I suppose I'm going to have to get used to this new part of you. Hey, I'm not the only one with new parts around here. <laughs> Ain't it something? Five weeks old. <sighs> Just think, eight months from now, it'll be opening day. Wouldn't it be great? I tear up the league in spring training. The majors pick me up. The baby's born on opening day, and I celebrate by coming off the bench in the ninth and swatting one over the fence. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> to have sex oh no we can have sex i just think we should wait a little till you heal better the doctor didn't say anything about that well maybe tomorrow sweetie okay it's just i'm not feeling well you know i love you bren i'm just not in a sexy mood would it help if I put my lens in? Is that what's bothering you? Maybe that's not a bad idea. I'm sure I'll get used to you without it, but at the moment it's... I don't know. It's a little strange. No big deal. The kid aims to please.
What's wrong? Oh. Oh. Brent, what is it? A headache. Oh, come on, baby. Oh. Lie down. Okay? Oh. Gently, gently. Easy. Oh. Is that better? Yeah, I think so. I think it's going away. A little too much excitement on the first night, yeah, huh? Yeah, you may be right. Oh, that feels good. Let's just go to sleep, hmm? Yeah, I'll just keep doing that. Take a crack and put in the crib together. Because I got the backyard to work on, okay? You don't have to yell. Do I? I'm sorry. Our baby will hear you. There's my ride. Bye. Mm. See ya.
Brent? Hey, darling. Come on up. Got something to show you. Hi. Hi. Mm. You're in a good mood. Well, I'm feeling better. Come on. <laughs> My handyman. That's pretty nifty, huh? <laughs> what about the sides? I was about to do mm. that. Iphos off again. Look at this mess. You make everything so hard for me, you... Well, can't he be reached at home? I don't care where he is. I just need to talk to him. No, 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 it's my husband. Well, I don't know. What's an emergency? Uh, and he's not dying, if that's what you mean. I'm feeling a little better. Oh, hold on a moment, please. Oh, I don't know. You look so... I mean, I really think you should see someone. Oh, no, I, I really am feeling better. Just tell him I'll call him tomorrow. Are you sure? Hmm? Hello? No, 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 don't bother. We'll call him in the morning. Thank you. I'm feeling much better. You know what would make me feel better still? Go see the doctor. Yes? Will he help? Will he help me? Will the doctor help me? I'll drive you. No. The keys. Where are the keys? 
downstairs on the table. To me. Oh, <laughs> Brent, I, uh, aren't I supposed to see you this afternoon? What have you done to me? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's happening to me? Are you out of your mind? Calm down. This eye. This eye. Where in the hell did this eye come from? <sighs> what does it matter? Tell me! Well, it, uh, from a man, a man who died. How did he die? He was executed. He, he died in the gas chamber. Well, who was he? Tell me. Uh, Randall. Uh, John Randall. this and it scans the entire text. Let me know if you need any more help. Apparently, Randall had attempted to get rid of the bodies in his kitchen garbage disposal. Ultimately, the dismembered remains of seven young women discovered in shallow graves. All the victims had died as a result of stab wounds administered by a pair of garden shears. Each of the women had been sexually molested after death. Subsequent investigation into Randall's past uncovered a childhood marked by physical abuse at the hands of an alcoholic mother. Police were struck by the fact that Randall's mother, like all the victims, had blonde hair. In conversation with police, Randall referred to himself as the devil. to say oh nothing to worry about could you please stop digging i need to talk to you i can't i have to finish digging your grave Big, big and ugly. So we dig. 
put them in the ground and make them quiet. Oh, John, he knew what was good. <laughs> Spread the Bible. Look at the Bible. What is in the Bible? John Randall's in the Bible. John Randall's not in the Bible. That's Brent. Brent's in the Bible. That's right, Brent's in the Bible. No, I, I mean that. That's right, you said Brent's in the Bible. Oh, that's not what I mean. Yes, look, it says it in the Bible. From Gabby to Bryn, out names me. Shut up, whore! No, to Bryn from Gabby. May we always walk together with God. I got my eye on you, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I couldn't resist. So what do you think? Myself, I love stories about our national pastime, violent death. Ooh. What I don't understand is, why was he so upset about losing his eye? He could have become an umpire. Uh-oh. Better get moving. John Doe, huh? Ooh, severe trauma to the abdomen, I'd say. Really? What's your first clue? <laughs> Here, give me that saw. I'm gonna get some coffee, man. Hey, give me some too, buddy. You know, these guys crack me up. You gotta love them. Oop, gotta run. It's not good. Ugh, look at your liver, buddy. Look how you've been drinking formaldehyde. Coming. Give me the head saw. <laughs> 